Hello! Welcome back to Resident Evil of the HD variety, as opposed to the regular non-HD variety. You know, it's only slightly evil, this one's like, housey kind of evil. Anyway, moving vastly on from that horrible pit of a bad joke, we're gonna open up the jewelry box, I guess. Get rid of the crank, probably never see that damn thing again. Alright, let's have a bit of a fondle this thing. Examine. Looks extremely complicated. Uh oh, just opened it. Nice! You got the stone ring. Sweet. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administrated. Jessica. Administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa. Administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Sorry, I keep reading that as two sentences. I'm sorry. Virus fusion. Positive but delayed fusion. Body modification. Observed const constant results. Status. Continue protective observation. George. Action. Terminated. There's a journal left by someone. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mum. Where do they take her? She promised me that they'd escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? I found mum. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake, not my real mum. Same face, but different inside. I have to find mum. I have to give her face back to mother. I got mum's face back. I shouldn't really say this so jovially, to be honest. Like, she ripped off her mother's face. It's kind of kind of a bit dark, really. Nobody got my mum except me. I attached her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mum's sad when I meet her without her face. From inside box, scent of mum. Or mummy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box, hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because for stones. Oh. That's the, for the puzzle coming up. In case, in case we're not... We're not savvy enough to realise what's going on, you see. Uh... Other than having slow-mo time, I feel we also need, uh, we need the, uh, thingy that is around here, the metal object, so we can combine the two. We combine this with this, and we have the stone and metal object. We need two of those. I opened the case in slow-mo, just to prove how awesome I am. Now, what do we need for the next part? Nothing except this, probably, in all truthfulness. Except... Am I at full health? I am, aren't I? No, I'm at caution. J uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I could probably do with some huff and some herbs. This looks good. Nice. Let's huff some herbs. And let's get out of here. Is this the right way? Or is this backwards? That's backwards, isn't it? It's hard to tell, actually. At least your house is friggin' dusty. Hope Lisa isn't in here. She shouldn't be. Oh, Jesus. Turn this shit off, you forgetful pillock. Thank you, Rufert. <laughs> He's a wise man. I should do that. Alright. I, I should thank the man, really, I suppose. View all friends. Oh, I've, lo I've lost him. Oh, there he is. Hold on. To you, my son. Let's, uh... Then turn the friends off. Should have stopped the recording for that, really, but never mind. We'll roll with it. What could possibly happen? I'm not even sure you can see the overlay when I do that. Luckily, there doesn't seem to be Lisa here, which is good, because, uh... I'll leave the mouse in the middle of the screen. That wasn't your mice, by the way, that was mine. In case anyone decides to, you know... Lisa, your house is lovely, but... I'm out. Peace. Now let's go back to the mansion. Which is this way, I think? Yes. Hopefully there's no slop at it. Hey! Ugh! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you rubbish. <laughs> Man, must be crap being the only zombie stuck out here. You like, you want to eat some brains? You want to become Greg or the Destroyer? You can't do either. You're just sat there being rubbish. You're the Bob of zombies. Like, just usless, sat there, checking out the, you know, the flashing lights deck of doom. How is the strobe deck? You can't say anything because you're... Oh, this guy's dead too. Alright. He's very dead though, that guy. He's been, he's looking positively pasty. Well, not really pasty, but more stiff. But not in a, you know, like a creepy, like, awkward way. Like in a dead way. He, he dead. Any more zombies here? Or are we, we, we all good now? Because these guys just seem to appear. Oh well. Head back to the Spencer Mansion. It's very colourful out here. It's nice. Nice uh, afternoon breeze. I can't even remember what's in here. Is this the shed? Yeah, so, good. I don't actually have to go through the dog corridor bit again. Ever again, I don't think. So when I bitched about it last set, I might have to go through the dogs. I don't, which is lovely. Anything new in here? New and exciting? No? 
bollocks to you then. Luckily, the other thing we need is right here. We just yoink it out here. He's been telling me, I should say roof it, apologies. Um, he's been telling me for absolutely ages that that's the other stone and metal object. And I, ke I kept like, oh, no, no, I'm sure there's another one. No, I'm sure there's another one. He's completely correct, of course, and I've just forgotten. No more hunters? Good. We need to go back to the, uh... Mm, what's the safest way of going here? Uh, I need to go through the crow area, I think. The crows are there, but they just kind of chill out. Look at me funny. Which is fine, I can live with crows eyeballing me. Caw, caw, caw. Have you lit guys literally got nothing better to do than sit in here making a racket? I can think of a million other things you could be doing. Admittedly, probably not a million, more like one or two, but I can think of a few things. Like flying, eating, harassing Chris, plenty of things. Causing my game to go slow-mo, you know, usual stuff. Okay, now we need to go, if I remember right, underneath the stairs, there's a gate that you can hear mumbling from. I'm not entirely sure how Lisa got down there. I guess there's a back door, but I don't remember. I also hope there's a chest down here. Anyway. Oof! Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Luckily, Jill, we don't have to wonder, for we can slap in these two very annoying crests. This mansion was designed, of course, so... Yes, yes of course it is necessary. Slapper. There we go. Slap it in. Called Jill a slapper there, I meant to call her a slopper. Not <laughs> not quite the same thing. Apologies, Jill. That was completely uncalled for. I did that in a text message earlier, in fact. I uh, I sent someone a voice command using my new phone. I was like, you are a slopper. And they came out, you are a slapper. And they came over and hit me, which is quite understandable, but not really what I wanted to send either. So I've, uh, I've called two ladies in the same day a, slop a slapper instead of a slopper. It's a good start, I feel. Okay, uh, I don't need much here, I don't think. I, I'm... I'm not sure what to bring. I'm going to bring the medals of Wolf and Eagle with me, because I don't know the next chance I get to uh, to fondle this shit. Apparently there's a typewriter here as well. I might not tempt fate and save it, in case I, I duff this up really badly. So let's get the ink ribbon in here, which is downstairs, down here. Thank you, Joel, for the slow-mo. To be fair, I completely deserve it for accidentally calling you a slapper. I feel very bad about that. Where is the earth is the type... Where's the typewriter? Is it down here? No, I must have missed it. The typewriter's up here, then. Must have walked right past it. So here's the box. So where's the typewriter? Unless it's at the very bottom. Oh. Really? Why would you even have a typewriter there? It's in case someone said, you know what, before I come down to this really creepy shit cave, you know what I need to do? Type out a letter. Not using a computer, which, by the way, completely perfectly existed in 1998. In fact, probably having Windows 1998 on there. If not 95. I mean, but I imagine Umbrella would probably have the very latest. Or some weird Umbrella OS, no doubt. But, point being, why would you have a typewriter? Unless you're just being an awkward son of a bitch. Who likes getting their friggin' papers damp. Gonna call her a slopper again, but I feel, feel, feel I've already blown, blown the chance of calling her a slopper. And rightly deserve a shotgun to the face. Very sorry about that, Jewel. Alright. What is going on? Please stop slow mowing me. It's very annoying. It is fraps. And I'll keep what I'll do is I'll keep endlessly bitching about fraps being rubbish, but then not actually go out of my way to get something better, which of course Rufa or has already got. And he's telling me how much better the DX Tori is, I think. But I'm like, no, I'm like, I have to stick with fraps. I've used it forever. That's what all I all I know. Oi! Barry, you slopper. Or you slapper. You're alive. Uh yes. Th th thanks, Barry. I was worried because I thought you were. <laughs> Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. More porn talk. I didn't want to do that. Why? Why did you do that to me? Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Lisa doesn't look very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those old cartoons where you can just tell what bit of the wall they're going to destroy because it's like a different colour to everything else. See, I'm onto you, game. Jill, hand me 
my gun. Do we want to give the gun back to Barry? Yes, we do. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. We'll not talk about that thing from earlier. All right, so Barry basically Barry's like Lisa, while we do the really weird, just push these things over. All right. We ain't got to worry about Barry. He'd be fine. You don't even need to shoot Lisa. Just, uh, just kind of wander around and push these oddly sort of contrived puzzle. There we go. That's it. Boss done. Yay. Bit weird. Not quite quite sure why it was even set up like this. Alright. This is mine. I'm taking it with me. <laughs> According to uh, Umbrella Chronicles, uh, also the roofer tells me. I haven't actually played this one. I played the other one. Dark Side. Uh, apparently Umbrella Chronicles, she doesn't get done in from this canonically. Uh, Wesker does it later. He shoots her up a bit, then blows her up with less the mansion. So, Barry, are we going to talk about this? Because I think we should. I don't believe that thing's really dead. No, let's not talk about Lisa. Let's talk about you, Barry. Leave this place up to me. Go on ahead. Uh, okay. No, no, Jill. No, that's that's ridiculous. Jill, no. Barry's got this place covered. No, no, Jill. J Jill, we point the gun at Barry at this point, and we say, we got to him and go, Oi, shithead, what's going on? Don't make me blow your brains out. And he's like, oh, Jill, I'm sorry. This, you got this whole shit gun on with Wesker, and... You know, and all that happens, but no, of course we don't do that because that would be ridiculous. We'd have to assume we're doing some kind of unridiculous character development story stuff here. It's like when Enrico got shot, or whatever his name is, and Joel just, like, stands there. It's like, you know that he could be gunning for you too. That, that would be bad. There's a large iron door and it won't budge. Really glad I brought the medals because I kind of need them. I also can't remember where we're supposed to put them. Let's just wander around till we find out. Ah, here we go. There's an eagle-shaped emblem carved inside. Oh, just while well, I brought the Medal of the Eagle around then. Ta-da! The only thing this does is, like, scold you for not bringing the medals. It's really weird. I don't understand. Like, they could have easily have you push two switches inside the mansion that does this. Right? And it just... It does it already for you. You wouldn't have to carry the medallions with you. They don't really take up any room in anything important. And you still would have to do the mansion. And cut all out this little bit. It's just weird. I don't know. Thank you, GameCube FMV. Now, where do we go? It's okay, because Barry's got this place covered, so I guess we just leave him to it. Not that Barry's a dirty traitor, and I think we need to talk about it. Nope. Let's just go straight down into this secret pond lab. I'm sure there's no questions involved around this. Cool, glad we glad we sussed this. Getting to work in this place must be a real shit. Where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, more or less. I think there's uh, there's definitely an alternate entrance to this place anyway, but I guess this is like the back door. Uh, oh, there's ink ribbons here. At this point. It'd be rude not to save it, but at the same time, I feel it'd be somewhat pointless since we've only just done it. Eh, I'll save it later. Don't feel that bad about it. Okay. Now, if I remember right, I quite literally only want to take these with me. I feel terribly bad with all these... Look at this gargantuan amount of, like, handgun ammunition I have that I'll probably never use. How depressing. Okay. <coughs> secret lab or no secret lab, we still have creaky doors. Oh, nice. There's gasoline here. Which I assume means we've got... There's going to be some... Hello? It's a scientist, asshole. Oh, he wants to come this way. Oh, he tries so hard. Oh, but he can't quite get me. Another guy over here. What's over here? Ah! Awkward. Have a knife. Dick. Do I want to go downstairs? Probably. Of course it is. Will you take the MO disc? What the hell? Uh, guys, guys, it's the party, you're not invited. I hope that didn't kill him. Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Awkward. Alright, guys, well, have fun over there. I've just used all of my defense items in one stairwell. No doubt, coming back later, forgetting he's here. Oh, no, I think he got up. It sounded shuffly. It would be kind of weird if two defense items would offer zombie anyway. 
Okay, what's in door number one?